ready? And let the show begin! Hey everybody, so today we're at the Franklin Institute to um, check out the Disney 100 exhibit. Uh, we're so excited. We're dressed in our Disney best. Disney best. <laughs> and uh, we can't wait to see what they have here. Let's go. So this is where it all began. This is going over the beginnings of the Walt Disney Company. Oh wow, look, this is from the lapogram. So Walt actually used this. Look at that old stencil set. That's so awesome. Hey, uh, are you an Oswald the Lucky Rabbit fan? I'm a little bit of an Oswald fan, you could say. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Between 1927 and 1928, Walt produced 26 silent cartoons of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Unfortunately, he lost the rights to Oswald shortly after. I've been here. 2491 Lyric Ave in Hollywood, California. I went there. So this is a telegram that Walt sent to Roy um, after he lost the, the rights to Oswald. Leaving tonight, stopping over KC, arrive home Sunday morning, 7.30. Don't worry, everything okay. We'll give details when arrive. Walt. Everything okay. So some things are replicas in here, but this is an original. Um, it's a zoetrope, and so when you spin it and look through here, you can see what like a cartoon would be. Are kissing. Here we are in the next room of the exhibit. Where do the stories come from? This is the animator's model for Pinocchio. This is from 1940. It's so neat looking. Prop storybook from Snow White and the Seven Doors. So this is like the actual book that opened up in the beginning yeah. of the movie. This is the prop storybook from Sleeping Beauty, 1959. Uh, I just want to touch it. Fun fact, Robin Hood was my favorite Disney movie growing up and is still in my top five. Cinderella, 1950. Here's some artwork. Oh wow. That. Is that Mary Blair? Yeah, that's a Mary Blair. You know one when you see one. You know one when you see one. That's Mark Davis down here. And 
awesome. Here's another Mary Blair of Alice in Wonderland and the White Rabbit. This is a reproduction. So they have all of these interactive exhibits that you can play with here. And in the storytelling section, you can actually go in and pick out your favorite stories and go through them and learn more about them. Here's Pooh Bear. I love this. So cute. I think she might see ghosts. We have Princess and the Frog here. 2009. That's the last actual animated movie that Disney did. And I wish they would bring it back. 2D animation. Me too. Don't you wish they would bring it back? This was like the last one that like I really enjoyed. I mean, That's, it's the last but, one. But just like the 3D animation just like hurts my brain. Yeah. Now we're going into the illusion of life. Close. Here's the dress that Emma Stone wore in Cruella. How gorgeous is this? Next up is the spirit of adventure and discovery. This room is so cool. Ooh, what's this? What object is contained inside the bottle? A ship! Duh. For this you have to line up three of the same symbol. Oh, sick. What do we got in here? Oh, an inscribed wooden plank from National Treasure Book of Secrets. This was actually used by Walt Disney. This is a uh, attraction vehicle model from the Disneyland Park. A trip through Adventureland and Waterbirds, Disneyland TV, 1956. These are reproductions of Mark Davis, concept art for the Jungle Cruise. This is the special effects filming model for uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Wow. What was that, 1954? So these dice were actually used by Carrie Fisher and Mark Hamill in The Last Jedi. So this was used by Daisy Ridley in uh, Rise right. of Skywalker. So this is a real costume from The Last Jedi. It's a little beat up, like you can see that it was definitely used. I'm scared it's just gonna like move. <laughs> Here is the Marvel section. You have like everybody's helmets. You have Thor, and the Eternals, Star Lord, the Iron Mask from the Iron Man, a Wasp Helmet, and Loki. This is the shield from Captain America's Civil War. The next room we're going into is the magic of sound and music. This was worn by Amy Adams. I love this dress, it is so pretty. What symbol is embroidered on Giselle's dress from the Enchanted? I don't know, what is it? Flowers. This room is a vibe.
This is really cool because you can actually listen to Encanto in like all of these different languages. So I'm listening to it in Dutch right now. I'm going to put it in, what's Greek? guitar from the Mickey Mouse Club, the original Mickey Mouse Club. That was cute! Here is the whistle from Steamboat Willie, and then you can actually listen to it here. So this is a glass bottle and is used to make the pickaxe noise. Music in the Disney parks. Here's all the music from the Disney parks. It's a small world, the Haunted Mansion. That's one of my favorite bops. Pirates of the Caribbean. Here is the actual sketch. Lyrics by Exitencio. resources of our vast continent are not inexhaustible, but if we will use our riches wisely, if we will protect our wildlife and preserve our lakes and streams, these things will last us for generations to come. It's so pretty. This is a public service announcement by Walt Disney. Ranger Rick. So this is an Academy Award uh, for Bear Country. Interventions. So this um, area talks about how Walt Disney kind of shaped a lot of what they use for animation then and now. Um, and uh, I think maybe this might be my favorite part. This is the audio animatronic animation programming console that was used by WDI from the 1970s to the 1990s. This is so cool. That is so cool. Here's one of the components for one of the audio animatronics from Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. This is from the uh, State of Illinois Pavilion in New York World's Fair, 1964-1965. Oh my god, in the eyeball. That's so creepy. That's Animation Training Center. Which president do you think this is? 2016 to 2020, it's Trump. Ew, because <laughs> of the eyeball. Oh, and the eyelid. Maybe, I don't know who it is, but it is from... 2016 and 2020. So this is a reproduction of Herb Ryman's Disneyland plans, basically. So Walt wanted to bring this to New York with Roy so he could go talk to potential investors in Disneyland, but he needed a visual for it. So over the course of like 48 hours, they spent the whole weekend just creating... Disneyland. It's incredible. This all came from Walt's mind. So this is also another Herb Ryman. Um, it's a concept art for Tomorrowland. You can see the, the Wedway people mover, the Astrojet, um, and it's just so cool. It's all just like pen, ink, marker, on paper, and it's just it gives off like just such a cool Tomorrowland vibe. All right, the next exhibit is your Disney World. I think this might be my favorite. 
Oh, wow. That is a Matterhorn bobsled. That is so cool. Wow, Matterhorn's one of my favorite rides at Disneyland. Even, it, even though it hurts, I still love it. So this table is about like all the parks. So Tokyo has like Duffy. Oh, so look how cute. cute. About the resort. Oh, and look, the globe shows all of the locations of the parks. That's so cool. And then, oh look, Figment. Where's Figment? Oh, an orange bird. Here's Engineer Mickey Mouse, and this was used by Walt Disney on opening day of Disneyland. <laughs> they have one of the real audio animatronics from It's a Small World from Walt Disney World. That's so cool. Don't look into her eyes. <laughs> Peter Pan's flight. One of my favorite attractions. This is from Disneyland's park. Here's the demon figure from Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, RIP 1971 and 1998 at Magic Kingdom Park in Walt Disney World. <laughs> this is some of the coolest stuff in the exhibit. This is like all the merch from throughout the years. And just Mickey in general. Oh, look at this. That's cool. So you got Disneyland 1950s, 1960s. TV Guide. 1960s and 1970s. You have Walt Disney World opening. Look at this, Pooh for President. I still vote for Pooh for President. It's my time zone. 1980s, 1990s. They have the Ooh. Hocus Pocus book. Oh my god, that's so cool. Oh look, Castaway. <gasps> Castaway K! Adventures. Does anybody else remember getting these? I loved Adventures, uh, the magazine for kids, Disney Adventures. I, your I used to get it like every every month. Epcot Center, the Disney Catalog. Is that you? Is that you? Then you have the 2000s and 2020s. That's what you wanted. And we are just getting started. And here's the merch. It's magical I'm obsessed with this Roosevelt shirt over here. So cool. But is 85 bones. Next time. That's sick. We just finished up at the Philadelphia Franklin Institute with the Disney 100 exhibit. We had so much fun. There's so many really cool like exhibits and uh, artifacts and pieces of art. We had a blast. I would say this is totally worth it. Oh, definitely. If I you're... saw some things that were just like mind blowing, amazing. Like some things that are just, you know, real things that really help create the Disney um, like image and business. And it was just really, really cool. Yeah, it was awesome. This goes until August of 2023. I forget the exact date. We'll put it down below. But uh, yeah, we had a great time. If you're in the Philadelphia area or wherever this travels to next, if you're a Disney fan, you have to check this exhibit out. It was a lot of fun. All right, make sure to follow along and subscribe down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.